Hi everybody, gonna do a what am I wearing and why. So today I'm wearing the Armory's Daywear 3PB, uh, which is our three pocket blues on. I made it in an old kimono fabric that I had lying around, so this is a special one for me. Uh, I am wearing an Ascot Chang button down shirt in kind of gray blue linen, a uh, pair of the Armory's white jeans, a um, pair of JM Weston's 180 loafers, a classic old design that they have. I, they're quite new and I chose to wear them on a day that's raining quite hard, which is probably not the best idea in the world. Um, I've also got, for my wrist check, the Anordain Model 1, and I actually put on the steel bracelet also. So this is an optional add-on, but I have to say it really changes the look of the watch. I'm really enjoying wearing it this way. We just got restocked on this, so we have a few pieces left in the shop in Hong Kong, so check it out if you're interested. Um, why am I wearing this today? Uh, well, I wanted to show you guys what, um, just how a little bit of a turn up on your jean can make a difference. Um, we shot a video on trousers a little bit earlier this week and it was well received and we got a lot of comments and one of the questions a lot of people were asking was like what's the right jacket length and you know yes there are rules to jacket length but I think also you always have to keep in mind like from top to bottom like what are the proportions what's happening with the proportions. So um, I'll shoot a video about that uh, next week but I wanted to show you just in this very specific context where we have the 3PB, which is a cropped casual jacket, like how long or short should you be wearing your jeans? And for me, this is a good length, right? So one turn up, quite thin at the bottom so that it's just barely touching the front of your shoe, right? Like, and it's keeping the legs straight because that's always very important, right? Like one of the reasons why you shorten the trouser is so that the trouser leg as it falls down doesn't get caught on anything and it kind of doesn't bunch up a little bit. Like this is going down straight, okay? Let's see what happens if I unroll it fully like that. See like now weirdly the trouser looks almost a little bulkier um, because it's hitting the bottom of the shoe and it's splaying out a little bit, you know? and not only is it making the trouser look a little fuller, uh, it's also because, you know, it's split out a little bit and because the leg isn't quite as narrow and straight anymore, but it's also making the top part of my body seem smaller, like visually, because you're seeing more of this, it's affected the way you're seeing this up here as well. If you go in the other direction, uh -oh, phone's ringing. If you go in the other direction and you do a two roll like that, See, like this is not bad. In fact, this is almost preferable to um, having it fully unrolled. Like, although it seems a little bit on the short side, like I think here the concern is more like, are you showing too much ankle rather than proportionally does the amount of trouser versus the amount of jacket make sense. But anyway, for me, like I just do one roll rather than two rolls and it's kind of a nice, like it's just short enough for the legs to be straight and it's just long enough to like, cover up the ankle and not be too salacious. All right, other thing I wanna tell you about, um, Vacheron Constantin, their collaboration with us is ending after this weekend. So at our Landmark Central store, you might have noticed for the last few weeks, we've had Vacheron Constantin's vintage pieces in the windows. Um, those unfortunately will be going away on Monday. They are gonna be moving on to their next stop at Vacheron's boutique in Taiwan. So this will be the last weekend that you can see the pieces and potentially acquire one if you are interested. It's a great way to get your hands on vintage Vacheron. So if you haven't seen them already, check them out. Alrighty, that's all I got. Have a nice weekend. Thanks for watching.